can't salvage. Today we're having a Dinky Toys a Voxel Viva. I believe it's a HA version. Let's take it over to the workbench and we'll have a closer look at it. Let's see you over there. So here we are at the workbench for our Dinky Toys. Voxel Viva, made in England, Meccano Limited. There's our patent numbers, patent numbers, and there is the stock number, which is uh, 136, I think it is. Right, you can work it out from there. It is held in by one post and a tongue in the back. On this particular model is is the original colour. It's a metallic blue. It does have an engine. It is missing the bonnet. Has an opening boot lid. The screen is in fair to good condition in that there's no breaks in it there's some minor scratches in it that we should be able to buff out all the tires are good on this one we do have an issue on our rain gutter on this side just here and also on the front here now that's a that's a casting uh, item that will we'll try and fix up if not we'll try our best at any rate now this other one of course it's the same vehicle it's been Brush painted, boot, bonnet, so I'll be making a copy of this bonnet to put on this vehicle here. Again the glass is in fair to good condition in that it's got no breaks in it, no cracks in it, has some minor scratches in it. Again, but by scratching a little bit of paint away, you can see that there was this metallic blue. Um, whether we painted that metallic blue, I'm not 100% sure. Because I haven't seen one on Google Images. Besides the toy cars being that metallic blue. But I've seen some others with nice colours. And we'll probably turn them into that. This one too has excellent tyres. So I'll be using them again. Now I have pre dremeled the post. So all we need to do is um, take this little baby apart. So that's what we're up to next. So just before I disassemble these vehicles, I'd like to thank you for watching. Graves in Australia die can't salvage. Thank you for leaving your comments. I do read them um, and I do try and reply to them as well. So if you're a new, new time viewer, welcome aboard. If you've been a, a friend of the channel for a while, you're also welcome. You're very welcomed indeed. All right, let's take these apart. Like I said, I've already used the burr tool on my fake Dremel to take the top of the post off. And there is a tongue in the back, so we'll give it a bit of a wiggle. There's the tongue there. The spring's a bit crusty. And as I said, these tyres are 
are quite good. So we'll take the rubbers off. Can't be in the trouble here with, with rubbers. Now this one, the rear end is encapsulated. That's a big word for, for, for an Aussie, encapsulated. The on the outside the axle can only go so far. I want to take the axles out. I would need to file off one of the mushroomed ends on the axle. But I don't think I'm going to do that. If you don't have to do it, why well, take it apart? Yes, we need to. We'll, we'll clean up. We'll clean up the, the rust in there. We'll take the tires, the rubber off. We'll stick it into some seal art. See, I'll try again. Loose tongues about and add in early. We shall put it into some CLR, which is calcium, lime, and rust. Let that soak, so that won't harm the paint. We will most likely, because it's nice and detailed down here, we'll try and bring these details out. So I'll put that to one side. It's a, va a vacuumed formed interior. Which will need a bit of a cleaning. Now the interior sits on those posts. So we'll put that in our in our storage container and we'll put those in there. Now the bonnet or boot lid and a bonnet is held in by the screen so that needs to be a tight fit. So what I'll do is I shall file off the top of the river post and the glass just comes out. Glass needs a good cleaning. I'm actually surprised there's no crack in the, t in the top. There's no crack in the top because it's not pressed in like the, up, like the matchbox. That's why even though it's got the hole up there as it went over as it it goes over a post. Stick your tongue in, boy. Uh, it that's why we don't have a crack when it's usually pressed in over a post. You get a crack right from the from that insertion hole. Anyway, that needs to be cleaned up. So we'll use crap or nicks, uh, poor man's wash machine, and that leaves us with our main castings. So, again, pre-dremeled pre out, pulled apart, interior, there's the boot lid, there's the glass, this one's in slight, is in the slightly worse condition, it's got a lot more, a lot more scratches on the, on the main part of the screen. We should be able to buff that out. We should be able to. Otherwise, what um, we can do is cut that section out and make an, a new screen using the UV resin. But we'll see how we go along the way. There are our castings. The suspension in here isn't as rusty. Uh, as I said, I'm not uh, particularly 
wanting to take the rear axle off if I don't need to. All right, we'll catch you in a moment. Uh, I'm either going to make the bonnet by making a mould for it or we'll go to the stripper venue. You'll have to stick around and see. As you can see here, I've done a little bit of work on the base, did it on both of them, just to highlight the the um, to show the nice details that they've got down the bottom. That's all the drive shaft, the frame rails, the differential. All, all I've done is use the steel wool scourer to take the top layer of paint off. And I've done it to both of them. All right, let's move on. Well, it's Saturday morning for me in Australia. It's Friday night in the UK. So we're going to join the boys in the tavern. This is what we do on a, on a weekly basis. And while we're also doing that, we'll be doing some stripping. Good morning, gentlemen, or good evening, gentlemen. <laughs> well, for me, it's morning, of course. I'm doing some stripping, so... It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's only doing that stripping. I'm, I'm not. I'm not burning it down my down, down my legs or the, the, down in the uh, lever regions. Uh, All right. So on on our screen we have um, Lee from. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to make, I've got to make, make the tavern work, yes, you know, so or world famous, so we can get more people to come in, so they can see, so they can see, so they can see how how good this group actually is compared to the other channels that only have, uh, they say they've got a live screen, but it's only one person talking. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't tell you guys to shut the fuck up, did I? Uh, can, 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 can you mind if I make a point here, please? A motivation. PJ, you look gorgeous when you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> vehicle in, in we had these vehicles in the strippers and um, yeah we're done I'm going to concentrate with, with, with these larrikins for a little while and uh, we'll go from there so we're out of the paint piece it's all shiny shiny and we're about to make a mold here and I'm listening to some tips. So, like I said, 
this is what we do on a Friday night. So I'll get on to making the mould and um, we'll go from there. I have my silicon mixed up and now we're going to make a, a mould of a bonnet. So we'll just keep the stream up high and here we go. So we're out of the uh, chat room and uh, I forgot to turn the camera off in that um, previous segment. In any case, we've now got our two-part mould. We shall now pull it apart or demould it I should say. And There's the bonnet itself. Now we should be, if we've done this correctly, when I pull the back part of the mould off, which is the underside that you normally don't see. Sorry, out of camera shot. We're just doing a, a little sticky at the hinge. So just a little bit of flashing to, to cut away. I'll just take the rest off the off the top part of the off the mould that I made. We put it together that way. That can now go into my stash. So that should one of the DMC members or somebody want, wants to reach out to me and needs a Vauxhall Viva bonnet. Um, I'm sure we can work, work something out. So I'll clear this up and uh, we'll be back shortly. Well, we've made a resin bonnet. And we're still in the chat room. And um, as you can see, we, we don't just talk to cast, we call we talk about all other rubbish. Anyway, I'm going to prime this and then we'll go on to painting. So we're painting the vehicle with the self made bonnet. Let's see how we go with this one. Go for 
putting on uh, what they say a cat coat. I don't really need to go over the whole front there because that's mainly foam anyway. But, um, Don't have a tiger right through. That's the problem you get with this paint is that you may get some striping. I'll finish that off off camera. The other car has already been painted, so I shall do the re detailing and reassembly, and you guys see the reveal. Here's a reminder as to what we started with. I think you boys, Boxel Beaver HK, and here we are now. Here's the reveal of our Pinky Toys box of Beaver. This one we made a bonnet for because it was missing. And we've been paint, painted it in a two tone colour. This one we have painted it close to back to original. We've done the base, we've cleaned up the glass, and all of that. Hope you enjoyed this little video. It was fun. We'll catch you next time on Graves in Australia Diecast Salvage. Just to show that the other stuff opens and closes. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.